guys, today I'm filming the second update for my winter project pan. I'm very excited because I was able to finish off six things since my last update. And I actually am refilling this video because I just didn't like how it turned out last time. I couldn't get my words together and I was filming during the day. So the lighting was messed up and literally the next day I finished an extra product. So I'm also excited about that. And the extra product that I just finished was the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, which is so exciting. And this is a mini, it has 0.5 fluid ounces or 15 mils. And we were here at the intro down here at the first update and now it's completely used up. I think there's a little product in there, but I cannot twist the top off. I've tried it, it spins around, but I can't get it off and I'm not gonna, you know, jack this thing up for one more use. I really do like this. It's a very nice hydrating primer that doesn't make me too greasy, but it is very hydrating. So I can only use it during the winter time. And I do have the Tarte Base Tape Hydrating Primer in a full size so I'm not going to be replacing this or having any other hydrogen primer in my collection until I use that one up but this is very good something I would repurchase like it's a super interesting consistency the next thing I'm so sad because I lost it I don't know if I threw it away or what I'm hoping that it just like went missing in my room and then I find it I even went through my bag of 2021 makeup empties in case it went in there it didn't so oh, I just hope it turns up and the product I'm talking about is the little mini I had of the ColourPop Pretty Fresh foundation I think I had 5c fair so it was a little light for me a little bit more cool tone but it did work okay and this was a good foundation I feel like it gave a nice light medium to medium coverage it had natural finish with like a little bit of glow i do think that it's a nice product but i have other foundations that i like better but i do think it's a really good drugstore option and like it's a very good product because the coverage is not too light or too heavy i think it could work really well for a lot of people and you can purchase it at ulta so that makes it even more accessible so i think it's a good product it's just not a must-have for me so i wouldn't repurchase it but i'm glad i got to try the formula because i've always been very curious and that, that makes me think of, so Alice in Wonderland has now a new cartoon on Disney Junior that's Alice's Wonderland Bakery. And there's only been a couple episodes so far and she's like curiouser and curiouser, which I think is so cute. And anyway, I also finished up my lip products, yay. So this is the Clarins Lip Comfort Oil in number three, Raspberry. And I will have to look up where I was last time I insert a picture, but it was somewhere down here. I only had a little bit left. I did take out the stopper, which made it very messy, but I actually really enjoyed the formula of this. It is a little stickier than other lip oils. It's not as slippery, it's a little bit thicker. And I actually ended up enjoying this scent and I like the texture, which is good because I have another mini in the shade candy that I want to pan in the spring. And they used to have this in a mint scent, but then they just like reformulated or at least repackaged these and they're at Ulta and I did not notice the mint scent on there. I wouldn't purchase it anyway. It's too expensive, but I really enjoyed using this and I'm hoping it has a high dollar value. We'll see. I did also, excuse me. I did also finish my other colored lip product. This is the Grande Cosmetics Hydrating Lip Plumper in Spicy Mauve. I love this. I finished up, maybe this is my second one, possibly third, that I've used up of these minis in this shade. And the clear gloss, the treatment, is a little bit more intense in the plumpy department than the tinted ones. But I love this. I think it gives a nice medium opacity. I love the color so much. It's a really beautiful, warm, pinky mauve color. I love it so much. The full size is one of those little clicky pens, which like, why would you do that for a colored lip product? But the minis come with just regular doe foot applicators, so I actually prefer the minis. And I'm always really excited whenever this shows up in an Ulta free gift. I absolutely love this. If they changed the packaging in the future to have a doe foot, I would totally buy it. It's a really a nice formula, very smooth, and I really like the color. So happy I used that up, and I used it up early enough in the month that I was able to work on something else. And this is something I didn't even get to introduce to you guys in this video, but I did mention it in my 
makeup I wanted to pan in 2022. I will have that linked up in the cards and I finished it already, which is insane. This is the Pixi Lip Lift Max Gloss in Peony Blue and this had 0 0.04 ounces or one gram. So not much product at all. And I did take the stopper out of this one and I got everything I could. I did not stick a Q-tip in there to get, you know, a quarter more of an application. I did take the stopper out of the Grande Cosmetics as well. So just to show you that. Always really messy when you do that. I recommend like really waiting until the last minute, but it is worth it to me, at least for the products that I've tried so far. So this is actually a super nice formula. This has more of a menthol-y scent than anything that's kind of cinnamony. And it's cooling, but not even as much as the Buxom. So I really think anybody could wear this formula. If you have sensitive lips and you've tried this, let me know how it works for you. But I think it's very gentle. I love the feeling of this. It's very smooth. It's not sticky, not too thin, not too thick. I really like the formula of these glosses. The Peony Bloom is a very pigmented shade, whereas the other colors are a little bit more on the sheer side. I do have another full size, the Nectar color that I'm gonna be working on in spring. In the past, I used up a little mini in the rose shade, and I really love that. So I would consider purchasing this in the future in the rose shade, if I could get it on sale but I have a lot of other glosses and I'm really interested in trying new formulas at the moment. This is not my color, but it's a great formula and I feel so good having this used up. Like I'm starting off the year strong with color lippies used up, which feels so good. And then I did also use up my little perfume, which is Dior Joy. And this was just a 0.25 mil product. And I was brand new at the intro here at the first update and now all used up. And there is like extra packaging at the bottom. So it doesn't go all the way to the bottom. And the opening on this was a little bit bigger than other dabber bottles. So more did come out at once. I really like this. It has a bit of a baby, baby powdery scent, which can be like a little grandma, but not too much. It's like the absolute max that I would go. And I do have a one ounce size of this that I got with some Ulta points. And I think by the time I get through that, I probably will be over the scent, but I like this well enough. And the baby bottle is so cute. I'm gonna do everything I can to get rid of it and not hold on to it, but it's so precious. So those are all the things that I used up, which is pretty good. And let me show you the things that I'm still working on. So the first thing is the Derma E Hydrating Mist. This is a two flow downs bottle. I started with this brand new. So I told you guys that this is something that I wanna make progress on and I want to finish by the end of my spring project. But I have really picked up the pace here. So we have intro first update and second update. So a huge jump in progress, but that's because I started using this as a primer and a setting spray. Last month I had added in the Urban Decay All Nighter Travel Size. This is a one fluid ounce bottle, but I'm going to be going on a week long trip to Miami in March. And of course I'm filming this late, so it's really next week. And I want to take this with me. I've already used up so much. I'm contemplating bringing also like a little baby bottle, but this is something that I want to actually be using to make my makeup last. And on the days where I've been going to work, because now I am going into the office once a week, where before it was once a month, I am wearing this when I'm going to the office. But on days like today, where I'm just putting on makeup to film, I don't want to waste that. So I'm just using this as a primer and a setting spray. So this item, I'll definitely get back to you. You know, in the finale, it'll be after my trip. So we'll see if I use it up or not. I'm not sure where I'm at. I can't see through the packaging. I feel like maybe halfway gone. So like I said, we'll see where I'm at after my trip. And I'm still hoping to finish this by the end of my spring project, but I can't wait to see where I'm at by the finale, but it will not take me long to get through this in my spring project, which feels very good. I'm happy to be getting some use out of this. It's not doing a ton for me, but you know, it's personalized. So I want to use it. Then for primer, I'm going to be moving on to the primer I wanted to pan in spring. It is the VDL Luma Layer. It only has five mils in it. So three of these make up the size of this. 
So it's very possible that I could get through this in maybe a month and a half. I don't necessarily know a month, but we'll see. I have two of these in my collection and my friend Jean is about to send me a third. So if I can use up all three of them this year, that would be amazing. So that's why I'm gonna start working on this now and not wait until my spring project. Wearing this for the first time today, I, well, this from this tube for the first time today. This is a primer I really like it. It's a nice glowy primer that has like an opalescent shade to it and it doesn't make me too greasy. It's a really nice formula and unfortunately not an Ulta anymore and I think the whole VDL brand is leaving Ulta. It is an Asian beauty brand but anyway I want to make as much progress on this as possible. Then I feel like I'm gonna be using this forever. This is the NYX Born to Glow Concealer in the shade Alabaster. Before this video, I did hold it upside down to squeeze out all the air and I am to the window. So I'm right here. That's still a lot of product. I will be honest with you, if it gets close to the finale, I'll probably just use this up as foundation. I really like this, but I don't need it kicking around any longer. I have other things that I want to use up. So I've used it for the most part as a concealer, but like I said, if it gets down to those, those last two weeks, I will end up using this as a foundation. And then I will be adding in another lip product. If I can get through this as well, that would be incredible. I think it's possible because this is so small and I'm wearing this today. This is the Fit Glow Beauty Lip Color Serum in Regal. I got this as a free gift with my order and I love the color of this. It is so pretty and it's a really nice formula. I will take the stopper out of this and I think I'll get a lot of product. I feel like especially with little baby sizes like this, just because the way the package is, sometimes you have to take the stopper out to really, you know, get the most out of it. But I'm gonna take this on my trip with me and wear this as my main lip color, I'm assuming. And I think it's possible that I can finish this by the finale as well. Like if I could finish three color glosses, and even the Clarence had, you know, some some tint to it, that would be amazing. I don't wanna get ahead of myself, but whatever is left, you know, I'll roll it over into my spring project. So Ah, I feel good about that. Then for perfume, I started working on my spring perfume as well because I do have two of these for spring and then I do have two of my summer perfume as well. So a lot of little babies wanna get through this year. And this is the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Eau de Toilette. And I'm not sure, this is five mils as well. And I've already used up more than a half of it, so I'm all the way down here. So this will be done by the finale for sure. And if I finish it early in the month, I will start working on my other bottle as well because why not? If I can get these things out sooner in the year, then that's great because I know I will have more things coming in. This is one of my favorite perfumes of all time. I have the 3.4 fluid ounce size. I do have a little scent bird size as well. So I very much enjoy using this and just want to get out that little baby. So I know the things that I have left aren't the most exciting, but I am feeling really good about the progress that I've been able to make and I'm not wanting to overwhelm myself with too many products, especially because I am behind. I am so ready for spring makeup and um, I'm gonna truck through these, these February videos to get it done, but yeah, I'm feeling really excited with all the things that I was able to work through, of course, especially the lip products. So I would love to hear your thoughts on these products in the comments down below. I would also love to know if you are currently doing any project pans. I am doing my year long makeup project pan and a rolling sample project. I will have those linked in the cards and please share what projects you guys are doing and whether you're posting on Instagram or YouTube so I can go check out your video or your post. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.